Hi everybody, I am Lorenzo from lorenzcafecar.com and today I want to show you how to use particles emitter with Spreadifier Deformer in Cinema 4D. Let's go to the Simulate menu and Particles and let's create a new emitter. Then let's create a new sphere and set the sphere radius. Ok now select the sphere and drag and drop into the emitter Ok now let's go to the emitter tab and select birth rate editor by 5 and birth rate render by 5 again then set start emission by 0 seconds and stop emission by 15 seconds for example left time 20 seconds and speed 150 then check on show objects ok now let's create a a new drip nodes then select emitter and let's go to the demograph menu and select tracer Then let's create a new circle. Then set the circle and set the circle radius by 5. Ok, now select these objects circle tracer and particle semicter and drag and drop into the sweep nerves. Then let's go to the deformer tab. Ok now let's create a spherify object and we make the spherify object a child of the sweep nurbs object. Then set the radius by 175 and select strength by 90% for example. Ok, now increase the seconds into the timeline, for example 15 seconds. Ok, now select Sweep Nurbs and let's go to the Details tab and if you like we can change the scale of the Sweep Nurbs object
Okay now. Okay now. Copy this with new object and select emitter, the first emitter. And then we can change the rotation of the emitter by negative 180 degrees. Select emitter. Okay, now double click and let's create a new material. Check off color and check on luminance. Then let's go to the texture, Fresnel, set gradient, for example, red. And yellow. Increase the red space, for example. Check on glow. Select inner strength by 10%, outer strength by 100 double click and let's create a new material again uncheck color and check on luminance go to the texture personnel select color like blue light blue and dark blue for example And then check, o, check on glow and inner strength by 10% and outer strength by 100% ok now if you like we can create a new sphere select the radius by 150 and let's create a new material again uncheck check off color and check on transparency select refraction by 1.7 for example and check on reflection and go to the texture and select Fresnel
Okay, now let's create a new background and let's create a, a new material for the background uncheck specular select color go to the texture and select gradient for example select type by 2d circular set color like gray ok now let's go to the render settings set optut film video and set hdtv select frame range or frames set, go to the save and set file destination format quicktime movie or AV movie then select anti-analyzing and set best settings 